water signs. Today we are going to be pulling for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's just see whatever comes out. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. I, I have no idea what's going to come out. I have no intentions for this. So whatever comes out is what comes out. Can you see me? Can you see me in the reflection? I don't even know. Should I turn this off? Should I turn this around? I feel kind of nervous. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what comes up. We'll start with a collective just to get the overall vibe for the water signs. Let's get the overall vibe. Can I get the overall vibe for the water signs, please? So immediately right off the bat, we have a breakup here with the Two of Cups reversed. Oh. Okay, the overall theme is moving on from the past because there is abundance in the future. Wow, okay, so again, a breakup here with the Two of Cups reversed. We have the Six of Cups, which talks about the past, and the Five of Swords, which talks about someone who wins at all costs. I do feel like there's someone in your guys' energy that is really, really depleting you and is honestly holding you back from moving forward in your life, in all areas of your life, not just like love and stuff like that. There's someone who's like capping your abundance as well. So that's money job opportunities opportunities in general creativity overall we have six of swords moving on to calmer waters moving on from drama and the ace of pentacles which is abundance a brand new beginning in abundance okay now that we have the overall vibe now that i know what i'm walking into let's go to pisces let me get a timestamp here okay all right what does pisces need to know what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Almost. <laughs> Don't forget to check out your May 2023 love reading. I know it's almost June. That's so crazy. And June love readings are going up next week. Ooh, Pisces. I think you're going to be tempted to reconcile with a Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Heavy Aquarius energy with the star and the king of swords. That's the overall energy, okay? We have the two of wands here, not wanting to take risks on someone who has ghosted you in the past. Someone who did not commit to you in the past here with the seven of pentacles reverse, and someone who deeply betrayed you. You are going to be tempted to reconcile with this person? Why? why let's see why because what is happening here this person hurt you so bad why why are you tempted to reconcile with this person the four of wands almost came out so you definitely think all oh, ten of swords came out again There's part of you that feels like there's unfinished business or like you don't have all the answers. I think you believe that this person coming back will solve a lot of like mystery for you around this person. The fact of the matter is, you guys, this person is very unstable emotionally, like money wise as well. Five of Cups is an energy of grieving, okay? This person is just going to leave you in the same state that they left you in before. I'm guessing that they are going to try to make a comeback, right? Because I don't know why else this would come up. We have the King of Pentacles reversed here. This person is very unstable in the Ten of Swords. They're still in this energy of betrayal. Like, they're still up to their same ways. Overall, we have the Two of Swords reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed, okay? So, lots of Swords energy, which is communication. Yes, it is delayed right now, but this person is very mysterious and they still can't make a decision to save their life. I'm happy that this is delayed for you because it's going to give you some time to get over it. <laughs> okay, let's see what this person's true intentions are. What is this person's true intentions? I'm going to scream if they're like good intentions. Oh my god, the King of Pentacles reverse just came out again. You guys, this person has money problems or some sort of... St how many times do we have to pull this Ten of Swords? That is crazy. That is actually crazy. Ten of Swords is like the worst betrayal card in the deck besides like the Seven of Swords, like, which is someone who's sneaky, right? Um, 
this person is only coming in to betray you. That is their purpose, is like to betray you. I don't know why someone would make that make that their purpose, but that's what I'm getting. We have the Nine of Swords reversed here. This person will send you into the deepest of, oh, my stomach. If any of you are hungry, that might be a sign for you. I'm starving, but anyway. Um, this person is going to send you into like the deepest of like depression and anxiety episodes. It's going to be even worse than it was the last cycle with you guys. They are going to claim that they want to like come out of stagnancy or that they want to move forward with you. But at the end of the day, they're only coming in because you have something that will benefit their lack of stability. So they're coming in for money, a place to stay, something like that. Overall, we have the Ten of Swords, so again, more Betrayal, and the Page of Swords. So when this person comes back in, they're not going to come in with some sort of flirty message like you would want. They're not going to come in exclaiming, oh my god, I miss you, I love you, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to be anything like that. There's, no, there's not a lot of emotion here. It's just going to be kind of like a hey. And they're going to try to see if you're open to them. They're just going to see if you're open to them. And if they are, or if you are, then that's when they kind of come in with the love bombing, right? This person has also been keeping a very, very, very close eye on you. So Pisces, that's what I have for you. This is definitely a big warning. Please do not get back together with this person. This person, oh, that was a terrible shuffle. This person does not have good intentions with you. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear that, but that's just what I'm getting. So I don't know. Anyway, let's go to Cancer. Oh my god, I'm hungry. Cancer, don't forget to check out your 2023 love reading. My stomach starts grumbling. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have eaten before I did this. Anyway, what does Cancer need to know? Oops. What does Cancer need to know? The Emperor just tried to come out. Oh my gosh, you got the two of cups reverse again in the collective. Oh my gosh, Cancer, there's a lot of stuff being hidden from you right now. You need to work on whatever abandonment issues you have, so I don't know if that's coming up a lot for you right now, but you're about to be overwhelmed with a lot of options and you might be tempted to not date any of these people because there is something here about abandonment and boredom that you haven't necessarily healed. So I don't know what that means for you specifically, but that's just what I'm getting. We have Five of Pentacles here, abandonment, Four of Cups Reverse, which can be rejection. Maybe it's a fear of rejection. And then we have the Seven of Cups Reverse, feeling overwhelmed by options. And then we have the Two of Cups Reverse, a breakup. I feel like you're going to be tempted here to not date or to not talk to anybody or to not go after certain opportunities because there is like a fear of rejection. And we definitely need to get through that because rejection is always a risk. But <laughs> when you've healed that fear, getting rejected isn't really that bad. It's just kind of like, okay, well, I'm just going to peace out, you know? Overall, we have the Nine of Swords reversed and the Moon. So there are opportunities being hidden from you because there is this fear of rejection that needs to be healed here. It's a lot of water energy here, which is not surprising because we're doing a, doing a reading for water signs. I feel like the general consensus for all water signs is that there's a lot of emotional instability going on. Like you may feel out of control with your emotions. I'm not saying that you're lashing out on anyone, but it's like maybe you randomly start crying or something and you're like, why am I doing this? It's because there's something in you that's trying to come up. Anything else that you want Cancer to know? Anything else that you want Cancer to know? I feel like this is going to be a very short reading for the elements. Usually they're like 30 minutes, but I feel like the messages today for you guys are very, very straightforward. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed here. So I feel like you're scared that no one was going to want to commit to you. And then we have the Fool, which is taking calculated risks. Again, you're going to have opportunities to have new beginnings with people or just new opportunities in general, but there is healing to do here with the four swords reverse. And there's also a need here to heal this idea of being patient. So I feel like some of you guys are having a hard time being patient. Like you guys are just like, oh my God, like where is my, where is my manifestation of XYZ, you know? And I feel like that needs to be healed too. It's, it's interesting that you're impatient or that some of you are feeling impatient for your manifestations to come in, yet there's a fear of rejection. So those two kind of butt heads, right? 
once you heal those two, that's when everything will kind of open up and you can call in more stuff, right? Overall, we have the Page of Wands and the Magician. So again, this is manifesting and this is traveling. There's a couple of blocks here. There's a couple of blocks here. I feel like you're like, oh my God, where, where is everything? Where is everything? Yet you don't really want to put yourself out there. It's almost like when things are presented to you, you don't believe it as well. So I, I yeah, we have Aquarius and Gemini here as well. I feel like, I feel like you guys don't really realize that these are problems. I feel like this is trying to come up for you and you just don't exactly know what it is. But I would look at the fear of rejection and being impatient and just start there and just like just ask yourself like am I am I scared of being rejected by people do I hold myself back from going for new opportunities in work or money do I hold myself back from like meeting other people you know do I take opportunities to hang out with my friends um uh, am I really impatient? Do I try to call things in, but like I get mad when they're not here tomorrow? I think just start there and see and see what happens, Cancer. Okay. Thank you, Cancer. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, the messages are quick today. Let's go to Scorpio. Mm. Okay, Scorpio. Don't forget to check out your May 2023 book reading. Oh my god, I just had heartburn. If you have heartburn, this could be a sign for you. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know today? Oh, the world. Oof. It looks like you're starting over not starting over you're starting a new cycle with someone but it's someone that's hurt you this definitely goes along with the collective we have the nine of swords here so depression anxiety then we have the world a new cycle six of cups reverse karmic lessons and the king of wands reverse and the eight of cups reverse came out together this is a return of someone who's narcissistic or someone who's just mean someone that you've been involved with before now i don't know if this is romantic it definitely could be it could also be a family member a friend i don't know but this person is coming back and um or maybe they're already back and you're starting over a new cycle with them you're gonna soon realize that they haven't really changed they're still up to their same old ways and this is presenting itself again to you because there's a karmic lesson here that you're not really that you're refusing to learn i feel like you're kind of running in circles with this person overall we have the strength reverse and the ten of pentacles reverse this is someone that you thought you wanted a family with or considered having a family with um yeah <laughs> yeah this is also someone who's depleted you so someone who's really really stressed you out in the past someone who's like taken all of your strength and energy from you this to me says that this person really stresses you out like this person really stresses you out okay tell me more about this person heavy leo energy here So there's something maybe about Leo season, or maybe you have Leo in your chart. Maybe they have Leo in your chart. I don't know. Also, summertime. Something about summertime. Okay. Hello. Okay. Tell me more about this person. Queen of Swords. Scorpio popped up in your own reading. There's third party energy here. So I don't know who you're involved with, but there's something who's getting in the way of your connection. Like let's let's start there, okay? Overall, we have the seven of pentacles reverse and the three of cups reverse. If you're wondering why this person hasn't committed to you or why they haven't like fully given themselves to you, it's because there's someone else here in the picture. Now, again, if this isn't romantic, it's just something or someone getting in the way of your connection and then prioritizing you, right? Basically, what I see is that this person overall is just not prioritizing you. We then have the Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you may have that in your chart. Maybe you don't. I don't know. We have more Leo as well. The Sun reversed. That's delayed happiness. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. Again, showing up in your reading. Um, this is you not being able to listen to your intuition and also you not being able to be happy. We have the Moon, which is secrets. Someone's hiding something from you. And then we have the Death card, which is transformation. And there you are. More Scorpio. So... 
I think that you know that this person is either cheating or just like there's something getting in the way of your connection. I feel like you know what that thing is. Like you know what that third party is. Whatever it is. I feel like you're very aware. And I feel like you know that this is always going to be a problem. And I feel like that's what you're hiding from your person. I also feel like your person's hiding something from you. Or this person is hiding something from you. I feel like you're trying to take a logical approach to everything, but at the end of the day, taking a logical approach is not helping. It's not helping. You need to turn into how, or you need to, you need to tune into your emotions. How does this person make you feel? Right now you're kind of cutting that off and which is, which sucks, you know, because you're a Scorpio, like that's kind of like your nature is like to be emotional. Um, I feel like you really need to tune into your emotions. You're not listening to your intuition, and that's why Queen of Cups is here reversed. You're not listening to how this person truly makes you feel, whether that be mentally or physically. You know, do you have crazy anxiety around this person? Does this person cause you a lot of stress? Do they make you feel bad about yourself? Even if they're not like putting you down, like verbally, does this person make you feel bad about yourself because they're not prioritizing you, right? Not being a priority in someone else's life makes you feel bad about yourself just straight up right um yeah leo pisces scorpio what what my cat's screaming at me i know you can hear her <laughs> what is scorpio's person hiding from them scorpio you got the longest reading today what is scorpio's person hiding from them queen of wands reverse that's third party go out on a limb Scorpio and say that if you're involved with someone I think they're cheating I think they're cheating so we have Queen of Wands reversed here third party energy like I said and then we have five of cups grieving I feel like you've been through this before I feel like this person I feel like this third party has been a problem so if this is romantic, you've dealt with this before. I don't know if it's the same person. I don't know if it's the same third party. I don't know. But I feel like you've dealt with this before. We then have the Page of Pentacles, which is the friendship card, and the King of Swords. <sighs> What's crazy is that in the overall energy, we have the Justice and the Queen of Swords. So there is a true pair here. I feel like the Page of Pentacles is the friendship card. There's a friend here that can offer you advice, like logical advice. So I don't know how that pertains to you, but there is some sort of friend here that maybe you should reach out to, to for, like for support. I don't know. This friend could either be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. But I feel like your person in the previous polls was showing up as King of Wands reversed. We pulled that, didn't we? Did I make that up? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm going to be real honest. If this isn't like the friend, then I think that this is your person coming in with some sort of small gift and being like, look, I'm making up for it. <laughs> I'm making up for the pain I've put you through. So they may give you like a physical gift to kind of make up for it, but just know they're still in King of Swords energy. King of Swords, I mean, they're fun to talk to. They're very logical. They're great at communication, but at the same time, that like getting emotion out of them is like talking to a brick wall. So they're not very emotionally available. We do have a true pair here, which kind of makes me wonder if you're also emotionally unavailable. Like maybe you hold back a lot emotionally from this person. I'm not saying that like you're a bad person for doing that, but I am saying that like the way that this person treats you makes you not want to open up emotionally to them. You know what I'm saying? And then we have the justice card here, which is Libra. So honestly, a heavy Libra energy here as well. Um, there is some sort of karmic justice coming in for you. I do feel like there's a conversation to be had here with a friend. Page of Pentacles is the friend card. So I don't know if someone has valuable advice to offer you. Maybe like reach out to a friend that has been through a similar situation. Maybe reach out to a friend that's also in a toxic relationship or just got out of a toxic relationship. It's like it's like trying to get a new perspective, you know. But anyway, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Um, I don't think that your person or whoever you're dealing with right now is being very honest with you. So I don't know why I said King of Wands reverse. I don't even remember if I pulled that. I, I think 
why I'm thinking that is because of um, there's a lot of Leo energy. So there may be something happening in the summertime for you guys that's going to be very significant for your relationships, which is kind of interesting because Venus will be in Leo during the summer. So that feels, I don't know, that feels correct to say. But anyways, water signs, that's what I have for you guys. Very, very quick messages. Um, you guys have a lot of decisions to make in regards to your relationships. Uh, don't go back to your dusty, crusty exes. I love you guys so much. Check out your May 2023 love readings. 2023, I can speak. Make sure to subscribe because the June love readings will also be coming out next week. So did I say the May 2023 love readings will be coming out next week? Did I say that? If I said that, I didn't mean to say that. And if I didn't say that, just ignore me. I'm crazy. Anyway, love you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.